G'day guys, welcome back to Rides for Days. In this episode, I am draining the transmission oil from my 2019 Sport Glide. Um, as some of you will know, in recent episodes, I've been blacking out different parts of the bike. And recently I changed the transmission cover to a black one. In the process of that, I lost a little bit of um, transmission oil from, the, from inside the cover. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to drain the transmission oil and we're going to replace it with new fresh oil and then um, we should be good to go for another 5,000 miles or 8,000 kilometers. All right, let's get into it. Rightio guys, the tools for the job at hand are as follows. A couple of wrenches, uh, a couple of an assortment of Allens, socket to uh, dump the oil out, O-rings, got the manual of course, and the oil we're going with today is this uh, VT, uh, V twin transmission oil from Redline. Uh, looks pretty good. Seen a few, uh, seen a few reviews on YouTube, and um, I thought I'd roll with this. In the past, I have used, I used this last time, uh, Sin 3 engine chain case and transmission uh, full synthetic motorcycle lubricant. Uh, 2050, bought that at Port City Harley, uh, and I could have used that again. Although I don't, probably actually wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't have enough, actually. So, um, but anyway, I've decided to give this a bit of a whirly bird. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, with a 5:30 seconds Allen, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to undo these bolts from this plastic housing. The last time I tinkered here, um, when I removed and replaced the transmission cover, and I was checking the transmission oil level, uh, I went to put the bolts back in and I lost a bolt. I don't know how I did it, but I did. So there you go. I've got one bolt instead of two at the moment. Well, that's all right. This one's holding it in for now. So you just unscrew that and then pull it off just to show you that there, that sits just in there. So now we just remove this plastic cover. Now we're just going to undo the transmission oil dipstick and um, just to loosen it a bit, just to allow some air in so that the transmission oil um, drains a bit faster. And just for your reference, it's a 3 8 Allen. All right, we don't need to remove it completely. We can just leave it sitting loose like that. And um, that will allow some air in and let the uh, oil drain a bit quicker. All right, let's undo the drain plug. And just for your reference, we're using a 5 8 socket. Now in order to locate the drain plug uh, for the transmission oil, if you just look down from where the transmission case is, and then just show you underneath here. Right there it goes. Okay, let's get done. And because we're doing this right off the kickstand guys, um, it doesn't hurt to just stand the bike up straight, um, just, to rem just to drain off any remaining oil that's in there. So this is the, the bolt from the transmission oil hole. It's not looking too bad. Um, let's just clean it up a little bit and replace that O-ring. And then let's screw it back in and swap in the new oil. All right, 
looking good. Let's bolt the bike into the bike. All right guys, so I've got the Harley Davidson Softail owner's manual and it's calling for 28 fluid ounces. So that's what we're gonna go with. Um, and also then when we go to check the fluid level, it needs to be between the A and the F, sort of halfway in between. And you check the level of the oil when the oil is at ambient temperature or I suppose room temperature. Um, but interestingly, when you drain the oil from the transmission tank, you, you do it at operating uh, temperature. So basically you go for a ride for 20 minutes, come back and, and then drain the oil. And then a little bit later, and then obviously you check the oil level when the oil's at ambient temperature. But um, anyway, 28 fluid ounces, so let's get into it. All right, so we've got 28 fluid ounces in there. Now we're going to check the oil level. And to check the oil level, we just, um, we screw the uh, dipstick in until the O-ring makes contact with the thread. Don't tighten it, then back it off and check the level. So it definitely needs a bit more. It's not really registering on it at all. So it's just a bit below that X is what it was. So we'll just add a bit more. Still a bit low, I reckon. Just needs a little bit more. It's got to be up between the A and the F in that little X. So let's dump a bit more into it. Uh, that's a lot better. It's actually halfway exactly between the A and the F. So that is perfect. There is a torque setting for this, but um, it's so fiddly and awkward to get the cap in that I'm just gonna tighten it up with a wrench. I don't think it really matters. All right, let's put the plastic housing back on and get my one bolt back in there until I buy a new one. All right, let's get on with it. All right, guys, that was it. Um, it's dead easy just changing the oil. Um, I like to do regular maintenance, routine maintenance on my sport glide. And I think it's interesting that if I can show you that anybody can do it, uh, there's no need to be intimidated by it. Um, and with this, it was just quite simple. It's straight off the kickstand. Um, you know, you don't need any fancy jacks or, or any wheel chocks or anything if you haven't got it. Um, it ended up taking a full quart of oil for the transmission tank, which, you know, it's interesting. Uh, when you're working on your Harley at home yourself, you sort of rely on um, exact quantities of oil from the manual and you think, you know, they've told me 28 fluid ounces, so that's what I'm gonna put in. <clears throat> and um, it's sort of reassuring for you. But the problem with oil levels is that it's not always going to be what it says in the manual. And that's what the dipsticks are for. So when you check the oil level, 
if it says it's okay on the dipstick, it's at the right level on the dipstick, well then that's the right level for your bike. So if the manual says 28 fluid ounces, and um, is this recording? Yep. If the manual says 28 fluid ounces, and your bike takes 32 fluid ounces, which is a quart, well then that's the right level for your bike. Um, fill it up, 28 fluid ounces, check the oil level with your dipstick like I did. It wasn't enough, so I put more in until I got it to the right level. That's the right level. So, um, you know, the, I think it's just really a guide in general, but it's never going to be exactly that amount. But anyway, it's interesting. But, uh, that's all for this week guys, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel um, if you found this useful. I'm trying to uh, get to a thousand subs. I'm not there yet, but I'm trying to get there. Um, give it a big dirty thumbs up as well. That'd be really awesome. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.